Welcome back everybody. I'm gonna be working on another push mower today. This one was a $20 find off Facebook Marketplace that my mom found for me. So uh, let's see if we can turn this one into some good profit here. I'll turn you guys around, you guys can look at it here. It is, it's an MTD yard machines one model. Green, you, normally these things are red, but this one's green. Well, at least it looks like it's green. Um, this one was $20 off Facebook Marketplace. Um, supposedly doesn't run. They don't know what's wrong with it. We'll find out together what's going on with it. Um, it's a P510 model. It looks like 20 inch side discharge. Lightweight and easy to handle. Uh, air filter cover is off a bit. I'm not sure why. Um, blade looks like it's in somewhat decent shape we'll find out when we take it off um of course 10 weight 30 oil what year is this thing what are we looking at here D -d 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 -d. Yeah, it looks like we're looking at 2021 so we're looking at three years old that's not bad here's the model and serial number for everybody that likes looking for this stuff. So there it is right there. There's the model number and serial number. There as well. This missing the side guard on it. These decks have the famous, you know, bow out issue where they, you know, they flex. So we'll have to either straighten that out or raise it up some. We'll have to see. Um... Not sure what it looks like underneath yet. We'll find out. Let's look under here real quick together. Uh, well, I already see the blade is not attached to where it's supposed to be. There's a problem right there. It looks like... And this needs to be put back on there, hopefully. We'll have to see. That's bent in. This part of this will take some channel locks and try get that out carburetor bowl nut is easy to get to sarcastic remark there um i never checked the gas i don't think there's any fuel on it but we'll look together there is gas in there and it smells semi fresh there so I don't know exactly. They said they don't know what it is. It's one of those farmer bulb ones. We'll check it out together. But I might have to take that blade off and put it in the right spot. Because it's not set on there right. Um, oh! I know it's one of those you're going to have to check the... Dip the dipstick in there, I think. But this is the oil dipstick right here. Almost like a Honda engine. Uh, it's got dirty oil, but at least it's got oil. We'll wipe it off and double check it here. Alright, let me go get a clamp. And uh, we'll get a can of starting fluid. We'll throw in here. And uh, I'm going to go take that blade off real quick and position it better real quick. So, bring you guys back in a few seconds. Let me go get all those supplies and I'll be right back. Well, normally we go against protocol here. I usually check everything before I start it, but since I noticed that blade is... Look at this. It says three lumber. Look at it. Four pieces of lumber. <laughs> four pieces of lumber. That's funny. Yeah, look, it's four Two by fours. Like that. I looked at them like, but you let's you check, let's like, double check the oil. Yeah. Alright. Let me check the oil real quick on this thing before we do anything and... Like I said, normally I wouldn't mess with the blade right now, but we need to get that centered correctly. So, you now I got to dip this in there on the top of the thread, which we will. Uh, she's got oil, but she's low. She's on the dipstick, but she's low. Uh, good enough to maybe just run it. There. We'll have to do an oil change here. Let me fix this blade on here real quick. Put the table out there. Put it up on the table out there. Well, I got to see if it's 
I don't know if it's running yet. I gotta figure this out. I gotta see if it's running. I don't even know. I'm just trying to figure out if it okay. if it runs first. Oh, I know, but let me just figure this out. Well, no, I'm trying to see what's going on with it first. I gotta fix the blade first of all. It's a five eight, and I put a nine sixteenth on here. is on there wrong. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Well, the blade adapter kind of nicked up, but it's not bad. But we'll put it on there correct. At least the blade adapter came off. on there correctly guess my mom had to let everybody know that she had to go to the bathroom all right well the blade is now on there correctly didn't mess it up too bad of course I got a mower I'm selling so everybody's buzzing me now on Facebook marketplace yeah. all right Let's get you guys out here, out in the open, put you guys further out from a distance, right there. There. All right, let's just see what it does. Probably a carburetor issue, but let's see. Primer, it says three times. One, two, three. Let's just see what it does. If it's not, we got the starting fluid. Why does that sound like a rod knock? Well, this is going to be very short lived if that's the case. Okay, well, it looks like this is going to be a $20 parts machine, it sounds like now, after hearing that. Great, I thought this was going to be an easy fix. <laughs> so much for that. What's going on with this air filter? It's got one. It's got one of those foam air filters. I'm not like it's going to help now, but let me put it back on there. Okay. Can I put another longer spark plug boot on that thing? Jeez Louise. Alright, so no danger of it sitting there trying to fire up. Oh, let me get a clamp. Just look at it and see. Unfortunately, we're here. Unfortunately, money's been dealt with, and it's been a while. So we'll see. I don't hear knocking though.
It's weird on startup though, it sounded like it was getting ready to knock. So, see if we can get this back on here. Nope. Good lord. Hmm. All right, let's uh. Let me see what route we're going to go with this. Give me a second. Let me show you what it's doing. Okay, I'm right here. I got to put this back in the case, I had to so. fix that recoil, that, that uh, coil thing. I'm watching you. I'm just pull, I got to pull this guy. smoking real bad too but I don't hear it when I rotate the thing over yeah I don't know because I heard it but I'm like it sounds like it, it sounds like something hit something well the blades on there I know but it sounds like something t hitting up against I it. will check it again real quick where's my thing so the blade's not hitting anything. No, I double checked it to make sure. What happened with the uh, one that we brought you? It's right there. I haven't done anything with it yet. I was trying to look at this one first and He's see. He's trying to look at something there, Daniel. Oh, okay. He's doing that one. This one he had there. He's trying to... And yeah, they've got a... No, I don't have that. I was going to say, you know, some of them have that extra flap underneath the bottom one that the blade might have been tapping up against, but it's not. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It's got like an extra piece there. I wonder if this is missing a washer. Oh, you know what? Oh, what now? Something wrong with the blade? This What's blade adapter. No, hold on. Okay, what? This blade adapter, uh, even though I could have it on there tight, it could be still moving. Oh, okay. So maybe that's what that is. Let me try a different blade adapter and just try it out. Oh, it sound like something. Yeah, but see, it's loose. Yeah. If I put it on there like this, even though I could have it tight, oh, yeah, it's doing that. it could be still shaking. So that might be That's part of it. What it is, see? Yeah. Let me get another blade adapter and try that out. Let me see if I got one. Well, this is the old blade adapter. I got this one. I don't know if it's going to fit, but this one at least got the ears on it and the little nipple things on here. Because look, this is the one that came off of there. And of course, it's doing this, so that could be our knocking issue right there. This one, this is how it's supposed to sit on there. See? So let's just try this and see if that does the problem. It should be the same I one. I got back in there. Let's run it up the mast and see if it's a loop. I'm going to put it back in there. Then. You don't need it now anyway. but. Okay, that fits on there. Good. I heard it was uh, uh, a thing about a challenge on there, and they won it. They won the challenge? Yeah. All right. What's up there? A filter there? 
That's what, yeah, this is the air filter. Coming through, look. It's a sponge. It's a sponge air filter. Yeah, that's why I said it's one of those. Alright. Good lord, look at the moon. It's straight up in there. Look at the moon up there. Straight up. Alright, well, let me We don't have to do anything tomorrow, right? Huh? We don't have to do anything tomorrow, right? I don't think there's nothing. There's nothing on the camera. Alright, let's see what's up now. We gotta go to Matthew's ball game. At 5.30, I have to meet Johnny over there at 4 o'clock at his work. Alright, let me see if this thing does it this time. Ooh. It sounds like the blade's hitting something off. It's not, though. Yeah, but it sounds like it. It's not. I've already checked it. Now, the other when you're slowing it down, when it slows down. I down. understand that, but I've, I've, I've wound it around there. It's not hitting anything. You sure it's not going like this, though, when it slows down? It's not wound This ass. Mom. I know, but I'm just asking. I'm just telling you, it is, it is, um, because when I had it, I was checking it. I had to even the spark plug go off yeah. and checking it. The only thing is a pain in the it's a pain you gotta take this thing off to unplug it. Oh yeah. Unless I'm missing a washer, but I don't know, that don't sound right. What where the where the where the thing goes back on the back of that plate? Let it sounds like it's hit something's hitting up against something. Because when it slows it was like that right this time it goes tick, 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 like that, like it's I thought maybe the blade was, something was wobbling up against Hang it. Hang on, I'll, I'll show you what it's doing. Let me take this. I gotta take this off in order to get to it. Oh, you gotta take this, that, that thing up there? I gotta take this off to get to that reef because the way the spark plug yeah. thing is. No, I was just saying that, I don't know. It sounds like something's tapping again, hitting something against something. Because it goes to slow itself down and it taps. At that time it came off of there. Well, here, you got it's pulled back, right? Huh? It's pulled back, so let me just show you what it's doing. Okay, oh well, I'll spin it, but I'm just gonna show you it's not it's not hitting anything. Yeah, but it sounds like it's hitting somebody slowed down. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, you're right. I tried to tell you. You're right, hold on. It's hitting this. That thing is bent. It's that, hitting the front. Yeah, it's bent though, you see it? It's bent in. Yeah. I told you, I okay. didn't know if it had like an extra flap. Because you know how some It's hitting have, that little dip I was know, talking about. You know some has that extra flap. Let me go get it. There, kind of call somebody. There's a guy that lives a couple of houses down from us. He put too much oil on his riding mower. And it's causing a, it's causing a smoke screen. Yeah. Over there, you guys can see over there. over there. It's a bunch of blue smoke. That's all it's been doing. You can smell oil all the way from over here. Yeah, but, but he did. He popped it again. And it, you know how it goes like that. Like that. Okay. Well, anyway, let's let's worry about this. Let's see if we can thin this out. All right. Let's see. Let's see if it does now. Yeah. Okay, so now it's not making noise. You hear that, Mom? Yeah, I told you. That's what I said. And you go, no, the blade's not hitting. I said, it's out. Because when it started to slow up, it went tick, tick, tick. All right. Well, let's see. That, maybe that's an easy fix. We'll see. I'm not going to cut you guys off. We're going to do this in real time. We'll put it back together.
see what it does I'm not now. All right, I'm gonna see if this works. Okay, go ahead. I was gonna I was gonna master about it. Go ahead. adapter didn't help either. Yeah. Yeah, but it was still tapping afterwards. The blade adapter. I told you and you're like, well I did the blade. I said it sounds like it's hitting something. I said it sounds like something's tapping them again. All right. Well it runs. I just need to get some oil for it and it change the oil up. A little bit when you... Well it's low on oil. It's got oil but it don't oh, have okay. enough. Filter is one of those sponge filters, so I just have to blow it out. At least it's got one, I guess. All right. I think we're going to call it quits for today. We'll bring it up another time here. So. All right. Last we left off. This is actually two days later. Um. I'm going to drain the oil out, which, you know, is a pain in the butt. Or in pain in the took it, as my grandmother would have said. Because the drain bolt is supposed to be right here. Which, how are you going to drain the oil out with that? You can't. So I'm going to have to go through the dipstick there and uh, clean that out. Drain that out. And then, of course, we sharpen the blade on that one. We'll see. It's got one of those sponge air filters. Sort of like the classic engine, even though this is not a classic engine, but we'll I'll blow that one out too. And then we gotta try to fix that wheel that's doing the little gangster lean there, like a low rider. Up to straighten that out and then give it a clean and I don't think there's too much more to gotta do to it. Hopefully not that uh knocking kind of went away. I can't remember. I know I put a another blade adapter on there but i think i'm gonna uh clean that out but i think i'm gonna put another washer on there just to brace it and see if that has something to do with it so i know that brake that uh blade adapter was wallered out because of it so drain the oil out next all right let's try to drain this oil the best way possible Ten weight thirty oil. Ten weight thirty oil going in. That's a little bit. Of, look at that stick. Good lord, that thing ain't got nothing. That on smells it. like it's got gas in it. It's got gas in it. It smells like it, unless I'm just. That's a little bit of dipstick. You look smell it. That's you just smell it and see if I'm wrong. Oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Okay, maybe. maybe yeah, we it's got, strong. Okay, maybe we got an issue with the carburetor now. It's got strong gas in it. All and right. I smell that strong. Ugh. All right. You have to tell me that it stinks. All right, so let's try something here. We're going to try a funnel and see how much of a mess we can make. There we go. I'll help you out here. Well, we caught some of it. How much has it got in it? I don't know, but it's not catching at all. It's not coming out very good. No, but I can't get... I know, I, got, I, was, I was trying to hold this so I couldn't kick it under there for you. Best design ever to get a... Uh, Has it got anything coming out? I think that's it, right? There wasn't much oil in it if it was. I don't think, it was, I don't think there was anything in it. There's nothing's coming out. Hang on, let it down. Okay. I don't think it... Oh, oh God, there it Bobby, comes again. I was trying to do it that way. I know. It started going stupid again. But I can't... But you can't lay it like this. You're not going to be able to get it out. Yeah. 
Hang on, I'm going to do something stupid. I'm holding it. It's not doing anything. Oh, right there, there it goes. Okay, you got to turn it this way. You got to let it drop down. Well, there's one way to drain your oil out the stupid way. Yeah, you have to make it. it well, I'm trying to tilt. It's got to lean down. It's got to lean down towards me. Well, it's going to get pressure washed anyway, I guess. Okay, is it out now? All right, no. we'll have to probably do another one. Okay. All right, there you go. Yay, we made a mess. Thank you, Powermore, for making the best drain system ever. Should have put you should have put that other one on there. You know your big long one. I should have used that thing to, to, to siphon it out. That it's over there. But I should have. You know you should have had the big one under there instead of that thing. But there's a small okay. one there, but I mean the bigger one that has the little, you know, drains down in there. All right, fresh oil going in next. All right, I got about 16 ounces of 10 weight 30 oil. I can't find my other uh, one I used to to do this. Well, this is going to be fun. All right, let me get the other funnel. That's not going to work. I kind of made this a bad design on here. They got this where you can't even use this thing. normally you okay let's try this it's 10 weight 30 I know it says 5 weight but it's not the HD 30 it's not it's I'll pull the spark plug boot off and let this, you know, uh, get on all that. Let that get around all the little, uh, go around the crankshaft and all that, you know, all that stuff inside there. And let it, uh, that's what I normally do on some stuff like this, so I'll, I'll let it, uh, let it do that. Okay. I'm gonna go wipe this dipstick off. Clean it, your dipstick. Okay. Well, I guess it's like the Honda engine. You know, you put it on the threads and and check. So. I think we're right there. It might be overfilled just a little bit, honestly. It is touching the threads. So I might have it overfilled. But it's got better oil than what it had in it. Go ahead and pull this boot off. Real quick, and I'll let it... Uh, I'll pull it and let it... You know, I do this as a personal preference. I let that oil get around there, and you know, I think somebody else has done this before too. I can't remember who, but I let that oil just get in there, and go around everything. I don't hear that noise now all right we'll see if I got it overfilled or not oh that camera guy's gotta stop doing that I'm gonna put the spark plug boot back on I 
might have to go through that carburetor. I might do it anyway just to be on the safe side. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can straighten out those wheels next. Let me get it up on the on the workbench here. All right, before we start messing with the wheels and stuff, I gotta, gotta take the spark plug boot off. But I want to show you guys something I picked up at my work the other day. It's a battery powered ratchet. Now you think this is expensive, right? Well, for me working in the back room like I do. The people in the claims department. The one I know, I know her really good. She had this on here, and it had this price. And I go, I asked her, I said, why do you have that price? I guess because it was an open box in a way. So I was curious because I said, okay, cordless ratchet. I'm like, that would actually come in handy. So I was like, 1994, not a bad deal. Now when you look at it, I got the cord in there. It comes with the cord and it comes with the battery. Now I start noticing, I told her, I said, well, wait a minute. There's no charging dock for it. Well, she let me know this really quick. When you take the battery out, that plug I just showed you, it plugs into the back of the battery right there. So you charge the battery up that way. So I got this for $19.94. They were going to mark it down. They were going to put it out there in the clearance section. I grabbed it real quick. So... And it comes, it comes with 10 millimeter uh, long socket and small uh, small socket, which I know these are probably cheaply made, but you know, hey, 1994 can't beat that. Let's see how good it works. So let's uh, find out real quick. I haven't charged this up yet either. I was going to, but I'm going to use it on what battery it's got. You know, I'm starting to like this more than my... I was going to bring this out here. And I said, let me use this instead. So. Okay. I want to take this off because it's easier to get to the spark plug boot. And we can clean that off while we're at it. So. Stupid design, though. you got to take that off there to get that to that. But... I know this runs good. I mean, the gas don't smell too bad. It's in it, honestly. Air filter, it needs a clean for sure. But let's fix this here. I don't think this is going to work on this, though. I just wanted to show you guys that. It's a 3 8 drive uh, ratchet, 12 volt. It comes with all the instruction manuals and registration thing I might go and do that and register it I didn't go for the warranty though but I'll go for the thing there's some writing on there hmm. okay anyway let's get this off now. I wonder if I can do it manually sometimes you can bend them yourself but then you take the risk of breaking the wheel almost. Which, I'm putting this under here. Which in a way, i got plenty of these wheels, so in a way I'm not too worried about it. Troublemaker. Troublemaker here. Okay, I need a, I need a 19. And i got to have at least a 916 to take that off. So let me go pause you real quick. Let me go grab that. Alright, sorry for pausing you. 
I got that got this. That's a nine sixteenths and a half inch. I was actually saving this for when I work on carburetors. Nice catch, John. But uh let's see if we can take this off. Should be a nine sixteenth if I'm worried about it. You work on these things enough, you kinda almost know. You kinda know. I don't know there's grass all over here. This is loose actually. So they don't even have this on here tight. Maybe that's the reason why it's doing that. Let's see. Let me pause you again. Let me go get a brush. Well, do better yet. You guys can't see it though, so. Well, you know, there's a sock, there's a nut there. Just like me. This carries. I wonder if I tighten it, would it work? This we're probably going to have to use for this. Let's see. Let's see what that, oh, that, up, oh, run away wheel. Why don't you guys catch that for me? You guys are watching, you could at least caught that for me. All right, let's see what's going on here. It's all wallowed out. There's one way to do this. Probably not the right way to do it, but I'm, this is the way I'm going to do it. Hang on, let me, let me put that washer. Kind of help it out a little bit. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to take like a breaker bar or a piece of pipe. And I'm going to bend down on it. I'm going to leave that there. You say it right there. Let's see. I got a piece of pipe. That's what it needs to do. I got to bend it down. Because look. It's on an angle. Which guy's right there. You guys can see it the hoard at the same time. Okay. See how that's bent? I need to bend it down. Let me go get this. This. You need to use it as a breaker bar. Oh, I was gonna say that pipe is behind there. Let me bend this real quick. Hey, Casey, let me get some I'm gonna bend it. Try to bend it straight. Hold this. All right. That's my old jack. I'm using that on. How's that look? Looks like we need to come. Looks like looks like we need to come this way a little bit. Maybe not. It's in the shed. Okay. Well, the only way we're gonna find out is we'll put the wheel on. So let me. everything. Well, the shaft is a little clean on there, so cup washer. Sort of like a cup washer. And then put this on here. Oh, the shed's probably locked, so the key's in my my room. Alright. Yeah, it's on, on the bed. Okay. okay. Well, it's that little can, right? It's that little gas can that has the... Yeah, it says... It's that, it, yeah. I'll, when you come out here, I'll show you. I, 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 that's what's going Oh, the wheel's on there straight. Still crooked, though. 
I'll try it, but you, it's hard to get these wheels straight. All right, I'm going to keep messing with it. I just got to take a breaker bar and bend it down. I'll do this off camera real quick. And then the gas smells good, but I think I'm going to go look, look at that carburetor. See what's going on with it next. All right, I got the wheels straightened up the best I could, so they're not perfect. Mom's out there enjoying that pillar I fixed from her that I did on a previous video. So I'm going to go through this carburetor. So I got to go through this air filter as well. Okay. So I'm going to blow that out. Put it over here so we lose it. So let's see, we got Phillips screws up here. Should be tens right here. And it looks like tends to take off the gas gas tank as well. So let's see. They almost look the same as the ones for the recoil. There's one right there, which I can't get it with this one. And I have to use a long pen on that one. There, and then... Oh, you're starting to like this thing already. That's not bad for 20 bucks. Alright. They're all the same nut. Got the marinara sauce here. Not really, but... Looks like we've got two Phillips screws we got to take out of here as well. Piggly wiggly. Yeah, Mom told me you guys did. Two Phillips screws right there to hold that on. Well, I just didn't trust this. This thing smells like gas, so we'll clean that out as well. Oh, there's another pen. I'm starting to like this more and more. All right. This should. Okay, there's a primer hose on the back. The breather tube on the front. Okay. So, I'm going to get my thin screwdriver in here. There's a primer hole that got pop out. No. this off of here. Okay, so there's... Alright. There we go, there's that. And there's a, another... There's another one here I gotta show you guys when we get it off of here. It doesn't look like it's that right Yeah, I know. Okay. All right, hang on. Tension spring is not coming off here. There's the gasket. Make sure you lose that. And the breather tube came off. I'm trying to get this. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get this off of here and I'm bending it.
I have to bend that spring back. I didn't want to. Okay. Okay, there we go. Got that off. Okay. Now we wasted time doing that and I go and mess up the springs doing this. Okay. Don't do as I do. Probably there's a probably different way to do it. I didn't have my pliers with me to get that off. Let me hit you with pause real quick. I gotta get uh, my pliers out. All right. Sorry for the delay. Really loves that tiller. I'm trying to get that primer thing off of there. It's not budging. There we go. Good lord. Act of Congress to try to get that off. stubborn too, aren't you? Uh, okay. I want to see what's in the bowl, so we're going to try to set that up so it doesn't fall. I just want to see what's in this. All right. We're going to let that drain out. I'll show you guys what the gas looks like after the fact. So I'll let that sit here and do its thing. Bring it up against there. Okay. I'm gonna get my pan over here. Just got it down. Carburetor time. What are we gonna find? Okay, that's on there. Right. We gotta go for the big gun. some trash in there. What? Eh, some trash in there. So maybe better off we are cleaning this out. Okay, we'll just blow that out. I don't want to pull that gasket off of there.
see if we can get that main jet out. Check that out real quick. It's one of these thin screwdrivers I got. Let's see if it works. Hey, not bad. We pop the motion tube out. Yeah, there is some muck in there. Look at this. So, yeah, that's that's better off for cleaning this. Look, look at that schmoo. 23 skidoo. Look at that schmoo. Main jet's out. All right. Yeah, Who? They were there yesterday. They were over there. Main jet's actually clear. You guys can see it. It's clear. I'll run some spray through it anyway, just in case. See what the emulsion tube looks like. Looks good enough for me. Take this thing just needs a thorough clean. Hey, look at all this stuff. Okay. I will stop you guys. I'm going to go empty this. Clean out this pan. Clean everything else up. And we'll put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Alright. Normally I would go through the carburetor and, you know, just, you know, run some water to it. But I think it's too. So I think it's going to be good. So I'm just going to go ahead and. Put this up and uh, do a little spurt. Well, this has got a spring on him. There, then we'll do this. I dare take the idle circuit out. I mean, I can. How many threads is it? It looks like less than one. Okay, there's a spot right there. We'll stop it right there. Just remember that. Go ahead and take that out. I'll we'll pop this out. That's your idle circuit. Don't look too bad. Let's see. Yeah, that's all right. There and then. That don't look too bad. Pop that back in there. Get 
that back in here. So I pop that back in there. And then we make sure we get it on that little stop. There. And not there yet. One more. Right there. There we go. Alright. Put this back on. Put the float pin back on as well. this pin back in here like so there we go let's see okay that worked put this back in put that back in as well put, you know the just gotta tighten this down and then snug it you don't have to Go he man on the thing, it's brass going into aluminum. So there we go. Right there. The bowl. Hmm. Not bad. I didn't have to worry about no carb cleaner on that one. One good thing about this is don't matter which way you put it, but Probably is going to be sitting this way, so put the drain bolt that way. Put the, the nut with the fabric washer. Drop it onto the pan. I know I'm using the impact. There we go. All right. Good to go. Uh, let's put it, get it back up this way. Now, there we go. This is the fuel that came out of it. There is water in here. Look at the water that's floating in there. You see it? Look. I'm surprised it ran. And can you guys see focus? See? There's a little water floating in there. That feels bad. So, I mean, we could probably use it. I can probably siphon it out. But let's go ahead and put the carburetor back on. Put the tension spring back on first. Like so. And then make sure it pops out of there like so. There. And again, tension spring. Oh, wait a minute. It's supposed to go right here. There we go. Wrong thing. Alright. Put the carburetor on like so. Make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. It is. That spring is a little twisted. It's no notice. Fix it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, I like that better. Okay. Let's 
the gasket back on here like so doesn't go on there wrong way no well, actually it does go that way well yeah no it does yeah I gotta clean that out too Look at all that muck Let me pause you guys. Alright. Clean this out real quick. What kind of muck? Three of the tubes stayed in there. So, so put this back on here, the primer hose, like so. Get that breather tube. Uh, is that gasket down there wrong, is there? Uh, the gasket on roll <laughs> operator's error and this is supposed to go on here like so there we go put this back on like so then we gotta hook up the breather tube breather tube goes right there this goes into there Okay, still priming. Good, we're still priming. Go ahead and put these two little nuts on here to hold this nut on. Don't really matter which one I use. Oh, wait a minute. You gotta put that one on the top, too. Hey, did you got your. Uh... It's a, if you're talking about my charger, it's in the house. I don't have it on me. This on. Okay. Now we'll make sure they got them on there tight. Where, where is it at the house? It's um, it's um, in my room. Is it on the? Uh... It's on, probably on the floor. Okay. There's that. Now, you guys clamp that. Clamp, unfortunately, you can't see it. So I need to blow, blow this out. Let me pause you quick. Let me blow this out. All right, blow out the gas tank. Well, I had you guys on pause. Go ahead and put this on here, like so. You know what, I thought this was ready to go. I'm glad I actually looked at it. It's like something's not right. Is it? Sure enough, I was right. Okay. I'll cover. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, get in front of you. Let me get this. Oh, thank you.
actually goes mouth of it's right there Okay, it goes in there like that. Okay. Right there. Put that there. My uh, thing is down to 15. The screw is back in. I can't in. find this thing on the floor. It was there on the floor. It was, it was probably behind the chair. There. All right, let me pull, blow this out real quick. Now it's starting to clog up. There we go. And we'll put this on here. Just twist on there like so. There we go. Now we just got to mount the gas tank. Put this lid back on there. Two little nuts go on here. This one here like so. And put this one down here like so. All right. Make sure there ain't no fluff in here. Let's get this thing. In. Give it a air bag. Fire in the hole. Clean engine in there. Surprising. Okay. Put Humpty Dumpty together, guys. Dum Humpty Dumpty back together again. I'll meet you guys down. There. All right. Let's see if this thing works. After we did all this work, we clean the carburetor out. We clean the main jets out. We clean the air filter out, which is this the sponge filter in a way. So. Let's get some gas in here. <laughs> Give it some fresh petrol. Won't put much in there, but I blew the tank out and cleaned it, so. Drop a little bit of fuel in there. We almost filled it up. All right. Put this back on there. Of course, this is a primer base engine, so you have to prime it. Let's see. One, two, three. Just like the Briggs. The Briggs engine. Do that too. <coughs> Let's see with the first puller. Here we go. Nope.
need the date with purple power. gonna make no Barrett Jackson show but you know it's cleaned up the best it can I still got to go over the wheel some more um, but I got a friend of mine I went to school with he messaged me on Facebook last night asking for a push mower I think this might be a good one for him if he's looking for one this size because it's a 20 inch but let's see if it still starts up after we cleaned it still got to go over it some more Prime it. Start it up. next day well, I'm gonna check on this mower one more time before we end this video make sure it's still running good and all that so got a full tank of fuel one and three let's see what it does let's see let's see let's see that video here so like share subscribe and if you guys want a sticker uh, email me and we'll hook you guys up so keep on turning those wrenches I'll see you guys on the next one y'all take care catch